Don't you ever get sick of looking fab? Hmm. What's up, guys? This is Ask Kevin 1.0. I just haven't done a Q&A ever on my channel, so I just wanted to see how this would go. And I asked you guys question to ask me questions. And these are the questions and answers. How did you get into being a YouTube content creator? Also, I love you. So essentially what happened is that I wanted just a community of people that I could probably just talk about like shoes, clothing, high fashion, Japanese fashion, because where I was at when I started the YouTube channel and even before, nobody really gave a shit, basically. People honestly just wanted to go to the Marshalls, go to the Ross, go to the... the um, we had people lining up for H and M. Uh, that's that's just how like fuck, fucking normie. Wait. I just wanted to create like a community, and I'm slowly working towards that. Gibeway. Ralph Simmons. Uh, all kind of crazy color. Kiss me. <sighs> Next question is: I think I remember you saying you use bots to cop friends. Do you cook raffles for them too? No, I think. So I do help my friends get exclusive items, exclusive pairs and stuff like that. But I feel like if it comes down to like me having to do their raffles for them, I think that's just pure laziness for them. Cause I think you should be able to enter in your own name and email address for a raffle uh, without me holding your hand. So if it's like for exclusive stuff, sure I can help them probably secure like a pair or if they want some clothing, some exclusive clothing, I can try and secure that, but I will not enter in raffles for you. Why are you such a thought? It's because I never got attention as a child and this is how I hoe out. How do you cop all these crazy shoes so easily? Um, misconception, not easily. Um, I put in a lot of time into um, doing this stuff. I have established connections, which took me like, more than a year to just even establish even to talk to people like getting stuff started it also costs money bots are not free especially if you get them after market because nowadays the good bots they're really hard to come by for retail they sell out super quickly they do just giveaways and only release like a handful of pairs so it's just really hard the bots that i currently use let's see for supreme i use preem.io Plugged, which is a iOS bot. Astro for Supreme. Those guys haven't really been doing super hot, but I still do have them and like they are still doing okay. For Shopify sites, I use Dashi. For foot sites, I recently just got Phantom. For Nike sneakers, I used to use Ghost. Currently, they're not working very well because Nike patched a lot of the Nike bots. So I will leave all of those guys in the description down below. I can't vouch for their success completely, so you guys have to make the right decision. Um, but those are all the bots that I currently have. Give me money, brother. I swear to fucking God. Just, just fucking buy my shit. How long have you been collecting shoes? It's been a bit. Um, I started, I think, 7th grade, 6th grade. That's when I started to get into like Nike SBs and such. I think this was during the pink box era. When I was in like junior high, that was when like the Diamond Dunks came out, the Stussy. I love the Takashi 2s. That was more gold box if I remember correctly. Love the Shanghai 2s. I had those as well. Um, I sold a lot of them. I still have my Diamond Dunks and I still have my Takashi 2s. Those two, I don't think I'll ever get rid of. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One, two, three. Oh. What is your favorite game of all time? I can't decide i'll give you three i'll give you three that i was um i really like super mario sunshine super amazing look of it just the whole uh, atmosphere and the whole feeling of it also nostalgia starcraft 2 because it's just more nostalgic same with like i guess brood war i can use that as well just starcraft it's a lot of fun i just remember having a lot of fun with friends uh, i still play every now and then and pikmin 2 pikmin 2 same reason why I liked Super Mario Sunshine, just the environment and the aesthetics of it just looked amazing. An honorable mention would be probably the Dark Souls trilogy, like Dark Souls. Haven't tried Bloodborne yet. How do you become so cool, bro? Since you've bought three Air Jordan 1s, 
if at all, what shoes have you sold? So currently I have my rookie of the years all packaged up and uh, ready to ship to my buyer. I, a part of me kind of wishes I didn't sell the rookie of the years just cause I like them. I actually really do like them. I think just like the weed of it, like the wheat color of it just looks super awesome. Sorry, I'm just glancing at them. But I just felt like it'd be weird if I kept like both unions and the rookie of the years because then it would feel almost like a double dip or a triple dip, I guess, at that point. And I just feel like if I had that, then it would sort of overlap a little bit with my Nigel Sylvester's. I do not want to start collecting like an abhorrent amount of shoes. That's why I like even if I really like the shoes, I just kind of have to let them go. So I'm letting go um, my size. I already let go of the two other sizes to a private customer and like a buddy of mine. So those two are either gone. My personal size packaged up right now. Do you think Yeezy hype is really dead? No, uh, they're still selling out, even though they are sitting for like maybe a week max, just like a week max. Like that's still pretty good turnover for a lot of products. If I can name like just companies and these stores this will sell out sure the mauve took a bit to sell out but it's still sold out almost all of the pairs are sold if they have like a handful of like baby sizes that are left sure oh well 2019 will be a bigger year for adidas because i think they were just scaling up carbon trying to get that all situated they're still doing stuff with parlay they're trying to revamp the consortium line and I think a 4D Yeezy would be super awesome. I think it just has a lot of potential. Same with a lot of the new Yeezy models, the 451, the V3, the 350 V3, the, I think the 700 V2s as well, the Yeezy B-Ball or basketball. There's just a bunch of like shoes that like we just haven't seen. We've only seen like a sketch and like rough like prototypes. I think it's not dead, definitely not dead. They aren't reselling for a crazy amount because I just remember, um. Zebras are now going for like 270. I remember I sold my zebras during the first release for two grand, about two grand each. I had two pairs and that was like ridiculous, uh, which is about what the unions are going for now, which is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's 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 fucking crazy. Have a complete wardrobe that you'd never part with or lower your depression by 15 percent. Holy fuck. Um, I. At the current moment, I feel like I would want a wardrobe. As weird as that may sound, because I'm normally not like in like a moody or in like a sad or depressed state. Luckily, I don't suffer with depression. Um, I'm generally a happy guy. Um, I try to keep my head up, you know, kind of. <laughs> but if it is proportional, where it's like scaled like throughout my life, maybe later on in my life, it will be a bit harder for me and maybe I will, you know, have some of those symptoms. Um, if it's just at this moment, I would want the wardrobe. But if it's throughout my life, I'd probably want the 15% because I feel like that would give me like a better value for it, I guess. And those are all the questions that I'm going to be answering for all the new people that subscribe because of the Union Air Jordan 1. Uh, welcome. My name is Kevin. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.